In this problem, Anna placed candles on three-sixth of the set of cupcakes shown below. So they're actually showing you what she did. Right? She placed candles, here's one, on this cupcake, on this one, and this one. That's three out of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which fraction is equal to, or the equivalent to, three out of six? Well, um, here, if you, there's many ways to think about it, but I, you know, with a with a problem like this, uh, you want to kind of group things and think about what's happening. So I'm going to say that the the cupcakes with a candle on them, right? We'll call them C. So there's three C's, and the cupcakes with no candle, we'll just call no cupcake, no candle, or N, 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 and N. And to make it easier, let's rearrange things to see what's happening, right? You really want to approach fractions always in, a, in an intuitive way. So we have three C's and three N's. And you can see it here, right? The whole group, three out of six are C, or the three of them have candles, six of them out of the six that we have, and three of them do not. Since there are exactly half of them that have candles and half that don't, three sixths is equal to half, or one half. So here we have our choice D, which is exactly what we want. But the other ones, we can think about conceptually why they can't be equal to this amount. And there are other ways to look at this. Well, another method is to say 3 out of 6. You want to reduce it. The way you reduce fractions is you divide the numerator, the top number, and the bottom number by a common factor. In this case, 3 and 6 both have the same factor of 3. So here, 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. It's not very intuitive what we just did, but in a, in a sense it is because we're, we're dividing both parts by the same number, so we're just reducing. But this is a nice process. You keep dividing until you no longer have any other common factors other than 1, which 1 and 2 are in that position, right? This is, this is finally reduced because 1 and 2, the only common factor they have is 1. So you can keep dividing and then stop once the only common factor is one. But if you don't like these methods, you can draw pictures. So what we would do is maybe draw a rectangle. And we'd think to ourselves, well, if we had six pieces here, or six cupcakes, one, two, three, four, five, six, pretend these are equal, three out of six, one, two, three, are what we have, and you can see the half. So here are these other fractions. Well, let's look at thirds next. Well, thirds would be a cut here and a cut here. So you can picture that this would be one-third, right? And this would be two-thirds, and this would be three-thirds. Thirds mean you cut everything in three pieces. Well, if you look at the purple shading that we just did, the amount we shaded for a purple is not equal to the amount we would shade for one-third. Because for one-third, we, we would just shade in this piece and this piece. That's one-third. It's less than what we have here. So one third doesn't work. Cross that one out. Let me clear that up. So one third's out. A fourth is less friendly to see here because, well, we have six pieces and dividing them into four equal pieces doesn't really work so nicely. But we can still get a sense of it, right? A fourth might be a cut here and a cut here for halfway, a cut here as well. So one, two, three, four pieces. It just one fourth doesn't match up with the half that we have, right? And I think intuitively we know that three out of six, which is a half, is not the same as a fourth. But let's just think about a ninth for a moment. A ninth can't be the answer. So ninths are totally out of the question because those pieces would be much smaller than the pieces we're given here. There's no way that one ninth, right, could equal three out of six. Just intuitively, when you take ninths, you split up your, your rectangle in nine small pieces. How could they be equal to three out of six, right? It just doesn't match up. All right, thanks.